This is the new fellow ode Gen 2. It's a revision to 2020's arguably most anticipated coffee product. Now on the outside, there's not a lot about this grinder that looks very different but they have made a few changes that make this a nice upgrade from the original. Now granted, I no longer have the original with me to compare, and I will say my old review video definitely was not representative of some of my best work as far as a review goes, but I can say that the small changes that they have made here really do make this grinder all the more compelling, especially at its just $345 price point. Now for full disclosure, this was sent to me by fellow under no obligation and no money exchange hands and all thoughts and opinions are my own. This video does have a sponsor which is Cliff and Pebble, but more on them later. Okay, so on the outside, this grinder looks very, very similar. It has the same footprint as the original in a relatively compact 24 by 10 centimeter size and it's just 25 centimeters tall or just under a foot. The matte black finish is still very, very premium feeling to the touch, as well as the magnetic catch cup, the dial, as well as the knocker. We do also still have 31 grind adjustments here. Everything still feels well built as did the original, but this iteration of the Ode has three big differences. So number one, the first being an ever so slightly taller hopper, which now has about a 100 gram capacity versus the 80 grams of the original. The second being that this grinder now comes standard with the new Ode Gen 2 brew burrs, which solves one of the biggest problems that the original Ode had, but more on the burrs later. And finally, the third new feature is this new anti-static feature, so let's talk about that one first. This new iteration of the Ode has really perfected the anti-static and anti-chaffingness, if that's a thing, of the original fellow Ode grinder. In my original review, you can see plenty of shots of using this knocker feature that knocks out a fairly good amount of grounds. There's a ton of chaffing, a ton of static, and it was just generally a little bit of a mess, similar to a workflow comparison between the DF64 and the Niche Zero. This new iteration has some unique technology that tremendously helps with static and retention. In fact, I noticed that this was seemingly the same technology used in what looks like the X-Bloom's built-in grinder. It's a little unsurprising when you consider that there is some overlap behind members of their respective companies. In testing, I found that even without the knocker, the grinder does very, very well with retention. Over the few days I have spent with this grinder now, I've been able to get within 0.1 to 0.2 grams of my original dose, with many, many times hitting the mark exactly after using the knocker. Now all the grinding footage you'll see without this video are without RDT, which makes this even more impressive. The knocker itself is needed much, much less than on the original, really only just to get out that little 0.1 of a gram that might still be left in the grinder. But moving on, let's finally talk about those brand new Ode Gen 2 burrs. These burrs have been much, much improved, able to grind way finer than the original Ode burrs, yet still not quite for espresso, and they do make that very clear between all the marketing materials and packaging materials that this is not an espresso grinder. Now, before we talk about the actual brews I've had with this grinder as well as those new burrs, a quick message from the sponsor of today's video, Cliff and Pebble. If you're in the market for your next espresso machine, grinder, or coffee accessory, be sure to check out Cliff and Pebble. The Chicago-based team has a huge selection of your favorite brands from Rocket to Elite, Eureka, Baratza, and more. They provide excellent pre- and post-purchase support, and you can be rest assured knowing that they'll help you out with all of your coffee brewing endeavors. To learn more, visit them via the link in the description down below. And once again, thanks to Cliff and Pebble for sponsoring today's video. Okay, so now going more into the burrs itself. The Ode Gen 2 burrs are 64mm stainless steel uncoated burrs and are advertised to grind within that 250 to 300 micron range and up, while the original burrs were closer to about 550 microns and up. So over the last few days, I've been doing some side-by-side -side brew comparisons with the DF83, which is my current preferred brew grinder, and the Ode Gen 2. Keeping all variables the same, even down to the drawdown time of both cups, the DF83 had a much sweeter cup. Now, that's not to say that the Ode brews were bad by any means. The clarity was there and flavor notes were still very identifiable. The texture was balanced and had a heavier body to the cup, which I actually personally enjoy. The DF83 brews had a much higher level of sweetness and clarity, and even to an untrained palate when I was doing some AB testing with my girlfriend, she distinctly enjoyed the DF83 brews more. But for me, the DF83 produced a little bit more of a tea-like body and was a little bit lighter than what I'd personally enjoy. But focusing back on the Ode here, it's been a really good brew grinder, again, especially for that price point. From having to grind at essentially zero on the original Ode for one cup brews, now I'm closer to somewhere between a three to four and a half range, depending on the bean. So there's a lot more to like and a lot more positives to say about this iteration of the new fellow Ode. It can produce a sweet, clean, and balanced cup while also having a massively improved workflow and almost no static or chaffing remaining, which is really, really impressive to see. 
I'm inclined to almost call this iteration of the Ode like the niche zero of filter grinders as far as a workflow perspective goes. Now, oddly enough, at the time of recording this video with the original Ode still being out there and O2 not quite out there yet, the Ode with standard brewbers is $300 and $380 with the optional Gen 2 burrs. However, this improved version, the O2, at least at the time of recording, has a $345 MSRP. So if you are in the market for a new brew grinder, this seems like a very compelling option. Now, I don't think you'll need to upgrade the grinder itself if you do have the original Ode, but I would very highly recommend the new Gen 2 burrs, which are definitely worth the upgrade to say the very least. If you are interested in this grinder, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. So that's going to be it for my thoughts on the brand new Fellow Ode Gen 2 Brew Grinder. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you haven't already for all things coffee content, and I will see you in the next one.